This is the free motion quilting tutorial for wavy hair. This design is a part of the free motion quilting project. You can view over 300 videos at freemotionproject.com. Now let's get back to wavy hair. To quilt this design you're first going to start with a long wiggly line and then you're going to swirl around to create a teardrop shape on the end of that line. Then you're going to go inside and fill that area with back and forth arch shapes. This is very similar to blowing wind, only instead of doing like teardrop shaped loops, internal echoes, you're doing the arches instead. Makes it look a little different. You're going to go back to that point of the teardrop and then just echo your way all the way around and back to the starting line. Travel stitch and echo back up and around that point again. That point where that teardrop was created is kind of important. We're going to build up some thread right there and make it stand out and show off on the surface of your quilt. You just want to echo back and forth, travel stitch along that edge, and just be careful to keep that consistent distance between the lines of stitching. The easiest thing to do is just kind of keep your eye on the space between the lines, not really on the edge of your quilting foot, just on the space between them. You can see this is a little itsy bitsy tiny teardrop and I'm squeezing in some very tiny arch shapes inside of it. Sometimes you're going to have weird areas and you've got to know how to deal with those and the best thing to do is just continue to follow the rules of the design. And the rules for this design were very simple. Just simply create that teardrop shape, fill it, and then build up some echoing lines around it. So when it's in a weird area, all you can see that I'm doing is just simply traveling back and forth, echoing that shape, building it up, and keeping it looking about the same as that other shape, except that it's much smaller and it's kind of cut in pieces. So now I'm going to travel stitch over to this other side and get around to create a new line. This is a branching design, so these are created basically just off that first starting line. Whatever that first starting line is, that's what the rest of the design is going to echo and enhance. So concentrate on that one more than anything else. Here you can see I'm squeezing another one into this little area. Really the big areas are the easy part. You know, you can be make them as big and as wide as you want. It's the small parts like this that are a little tricky to fit into. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish wavy hair. Find over 300 videos on free motion quilting, including Blowing Wind, a design that I mentioned in this video at the Free Motion Quilting Project. That's freemotionproject.com.